welcome to the Foresight Institute Freeze Dry System. This lyophilizer is a lab conco free zone 4.5. Attached to it is a speed back centrifugal concentrator for tubes. It's an option. So first thing is to seal the vacuum as we leave it open for storage. So we leave the plug open, the drain plug open, so we can seal that. We'll find the port that's been left open, usually one port's left open. It's this way, where the slant here is toward open, so you close that. Then you can um, turn it on, which has already been turned on with the manual. You can turn on manual or auto with auto. Refrigeration goes on first, and as soon as the refrigeration is cold enough, the uh, vacuum will kick in. So right now this is on vacuum, and you can read the two readings in here. Instruction, instructions are here. You need to go down to at least 133, 5 to the minus 3, before it can um, freeze dry. This will get so in good shape, it will get much slower than that. But 40 is good for freeze drying, so go down to 14. So now the temperature is down low. This is sealed. And there's a little water in here because I forgot to dry it off first. This was just a demo. <laughs> Usually <laughs> make sure the water's all out of your chamber first. So the pump. We would turn the pump on when the refrigeration is down. There's a, for a fine point, this has an extra thing. This is the way we always leave it. First, you always check for pump oil to make sure your oil is okay. Same as anything else. It's set to about three quarters or two thirds away. This has a fine point with yes ballast here, which when it's on, it'll let a little bit of air through. Do that for five or 15 minutes to help dry out the oil. Help your vacuum a little bit if you do that first. Also, afterwards, if you think you have got any oil, you can do that afterwards. So, we'll go back to here. This is temperatures light enough so we can start the vacuum. And meanwhile, discuss the options you have, which, of course, you could have done these first. This is the flask where you can put your sample in and freeze dry it, but you want a large surface area for freeze drying because evaporation or sublimation is what keeps your sample cold. So normally you put things in on a slant in the freezer or shell frozen if you have some dry ice bath or something you could swirl so it would be a a large cell in a large surface area. Same with the tubes. You can freeze them on the slant. Just put them in the freezer on the slant. I forgot to mention the sign-up sheet. So to use, well, I prefer these two mill tubes in the um, centrifugal concentrator. First we'll show how this would go. This would just go in here. I like to keep it insulated. Some people put a towel around it or some insulation so it doesn't pick up too much heat, which would tend to thaw your sample. Some people put test tubes in these with or without a filter to cover with filter with holes in it to keep in case pieces fly around. So the safe thing if you have a small volume is the speed vac. We freeze it on the slant, and it would go in here. I so only have one tube right there, and I balance to it. This would go in open. Yeah. And then you turn the refrigeration on. The advantage is that it will keep your sample from boiling. Even if it gets too warm, which it 
to die. They won't be able to boil and disappear because of the action of the centrifuge. Then once you have that, you would go back over here and turn on the vacuum, which we have set here. Just watch, and then you'll see that the ring on the gasket change as the vacuum is applied to the centrifuge. Then you can come back in several hours, check your samples. Then when you're done, follow the directions here, which are to get everything on thawed out first, and then later you take this top off and dry it out. Which the person before me didn't finish doing or sometimes the little water will come out of the drain pipe if it's not completely clear. So if you were using something other than water, like an organic solvent, you should have to do something to protect the pump oil from the organic solvent, like ethanol. You can buy additional equipment or use a dry ice trap in between to protect the pump. Or you can change the pump oil afterwards. In any case, the, uh, that ballast where you let a little bit of controlled air in afterwards helps to keep the pump oil in good shape. Okay, thank you. Goodbye.